Hello everyone and welcome to the Road to Devastation. And even though Redimus is starting to freak me out just a little bit, the show must go on. So today we are looking at Constructicon Mixmaster. I am super excited to check out this one because back in the day I got to handle a Revenge of the Fallen, I think it was a Voyager class um, Mixmaster, and that thing was not good. <laughs> it belonged to a neighbor kid and his mom wanted me to try to transform it back. And even though I was able to get the instructions online, that thing was awful to mess with. So I'm happy to uh, check this one out and hoping that it's going to be a better thing. But uh, before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a look at it in the box. So we got nice render of Mixmaster here. Number 53 studio series. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Transformers in big numbers, numbers, big letters, <laughs> got 8 plus, Hasbro, Generations, Takara Tomy. On this side, we got that same illustration that we've been seeing on all the others, including the vacuum face. Then on the back, we got some nice product renders here. It says, big screen inspired, scale detail backdrop, and then it repeats that in several different languages. Got the Revenge of the Fallen logo again, Constructicon Mixmaster, and... Pyramid Battle, Desert Battle. So it has that background that I'm pretty sure is going to be the same, at least as a few of them. Then on this side, we have the nice illustration of Mixmaster close up so we can see that freaky face of his. Uh, Studio Series, number 53, and this is a Voyager class. So it's bigger than, uh, I think it was the last one we did. On this side, we have the window that you can't really see much through. And then on this side, not much at all. All right. So let's unleash this guy on the world and see what he's all about. And here is Mixmaster in all his spindly glory. <laughs> he's got an interesting silhouette here, doesn't he? He's very, very wide. Let's move that aside. The display is the same as all the other ones. Though what I find interesting is that his overall robot mode is actually kind of on the short side. They wide him out, but keep him very short. But it adds to like an interesting look and basically variety to the other bots in this group. He does have a big truck cab sticking out his back, which does cover up the Devastator face. And according to the instructions, this part is supposed to be sticking up like that, so I left it like that. But it does mean that he has jaws <laughs> on the back. But yeah, not too bad. Um, his main colors are the sort of this kind of gunmetally, almost brownish gray plastic, some black with a silver paint, some black paint on the head, and that's about it. So he's not as colorful as some of the other ones, but he does have a lot of nice detail. Would have been nice to have seen like a, um, a wash put over it to bring everything out. But still looks pretty cool in my book. Articulation wise, he's got a ball joint on the head and there's a hinge here as well that allows for some extra movement back and forth. You can rotate the shoulder here. Here, you can even move this down like that if you want. It really needs to be snapped up there. Oh goodness, that makes a snapping sound I don't like. <laughs> but it needs to be snapped up there really for uh, robot mode. He's got a single jointed elbow, which that's all it can do. Straight or 90 degrees. He's got a hand like this. Doesn't rotate or anything like that. You can position these things a little bit how you want. There's something here but that's mainly just for vehicle mode 
Uh, no waste articulation. Uh, he can kick up and over his head. And he's got a single jointed knee and just a hinge for his ankle. No tilts or anything like that. But he does have universal joint hips. So he can do the splits if you want. So yeah, not a whole lot of articulation, but he makes pretty good use of what he has. I kind of wish there was more with the hands here, like just an extra joint to rotate them around because I don't like them being always flat like this. But I will say this. So far, he feels leaps and bounds better than, I think it was a leader class toy that he had back when Revenge of the Fallen first came out. That one was awful, and this guy feels so much better. It helps that everything feels steady and locked in. It's very sturdy construction. His elbow here feels a little loose, particularly in comparison to this one, but it's not the end of the world. It just means if you shake him, that one's going to come down first. And there are things I could do to tighten that up if I really, really wanted to. I'm not going to worry about it though, particularly since, well, this guy's going to spend most of his time in combined form. All right, so let's go ahead and get him transformed into vehicle mode. Oh, no, no. Jumping the gun there. Let's take a look at how he looks compared to everyone else. Sorry, the all that stuff for Dimas keeps saying about a monster at the end of the month. It must, it must be getting to me more than I think. But that's ridiculous, right? There's no such thing as monsters. Anyway, comparisons. So, here he is next to Hightower. He looks very creepy, as usual. We got Scrap Metal. Long Haul. And finally, Rampage. A rather horrific family portrait coming together. <laughs> but it's so cool to see all of these guys together. Something about having, you know, a set. Just, it's nice. Anyway, now let's go ahead and get him transformed into vehicle mode. I have to admit, I've been dreading this a little bit just because the memories of that old Mixmaster toy are so vivid in my mind, but let's not let that deter me. So, we're gonna start off by closing this, and we're going to, what, just rotate these, whatever they are, up and around like that. That's kind of weird, but hey, whatever. We're going to lift these parts of the drums out and pull these what's it's out then we're going to rotate the elbows like this and bring them up to praise the sun or something <laughs> okay and it's pointing out something specific with the joints there and i don't know what it's trying to tell me But there does appear to be a peg that goes into this thing. It's kind of hard to see. It's right behind this sort of fake tire there. That clicks in quite nicely though. Okay. So next up, we're going to flip you around. And then we're gonna bring these drum bits up and over. Then Flip around again, bring the hands up. Can't help but feel like he's dancing or something. It's weird. <laughs> that came unpegged. Okay. So now we're gonna get things positioned to get together. Come together, 
right now, please. Okay. Oh, I see now. So the drum needs to kind of shift a little bit and kind of slide in over here so we get things started. I did it on the other side and now it doesn't want me to do it over here. Come on. Fine. We'll just keep going over here. Ugh. That was a little scary. Okay, let's see what we can do over here. Repeat the same things we did on the other side if I can get it to do it. Okay. I think I got it. Cool. Okay. So now we're going to rotate these down, rotate these down, and straighten the legs. And super straighten everything together and connect it all there we go okay now we're rotating this entire assembly up like this and look he's sound wave cybertronian alt mode <laughs> okay we're going to Bring his feet back like that. Rotate this around. Okay, we're finally going to move these things up into position. Maybe we could have done that sooner, I don't know. And now we're going to start bringing it together. I think we're in the home stretch. There are pegs along here that plug in. There we go. Come on. There we go. One side down, another to go. You can't exactly see what you're doing easily. Because now we're also pegging things together on the drum. and watching it come apart on us. Uh, one moment while I get everything massaged into position. It'll bring destruction in its wake. <laughs> Got it. Okay, and here he is in vehicle mode. Though, I'm a little unimpressed. The, uh, the drum feels a little on the small side, and these silver stripes don't line up with the bottom ones. I don't know if that's because I've done something wrong, or the paint just wasn't done correctly, but it is what it is. I also don't care for these robot hand things sticking up like that. If they had added some extra hinges there, they could have at least made it collapse down a bit more or something. Looking at the underside, you do have a visible head there. But um, it's not horrible. Rolls pretty well. Um, I do like that it has a um, semblance of the little bulldog with a uh, Decepticon head um, hood ornament there. That's pretty cool does say Mac on there, so I wonder if this is actually licensed. Uh, I'd have to double check the box for that. Yeah, you even got Mac there too, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, um, 
Drum is stationary, doesn't rotate. Uh, the little spout thing, that doesn't articulate or anything like that. So, not the most spectacular one out of the bunch we've looked at so far, but it gets the job done. Let's go ahead and get the others out and take a look at them all together. So, here's uh, Rampage, Long Haul, High Tower, and little scrap metal over here. This one's actually kind of the longest of all of them together, even though uh, these three are uh, all uh, Voyager class. These two are Deluxe class. But yeah, not a bad group at least. But let's get these guys aside and get this dude in his combined form. Okay, so to start off, we are going to rip the front of this car off. Roar! You can see that uh, lovely face waiting for us underneath. Next, we are going to open this back portion up again. If it'll let me. There we go. We're gonna flip these parts back down again, the smokestacks. Okay, bringing this guy back around. We're going to flip this up. And we got two little pieces on the inside that need to come up and around, like that. And then, looks like we are flipping that out and bringing these little panels out. And we close this back up. <clears throat> And we're bringing this back in, and so we've created little tab holes for these parts. There we go. That's a lovely face, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to flip these down. Sort of reconnect these for the moment. Actually, no. You know what? Because I think one of the next steps was open that up again. Close these down. We're going to flip these down. And then actually just bring them completely around again. Because <clears throat> there's sort of a double hinge thing going on right there. Have these pointing straight up. Okay, and looks like oh, we're bringing the smokestacks back up. Why did why did we even bother pulling it down? Okay, um, I think the legs are supposed to come down. I'm seeing that in a future step. So it looks like there's an alternate peg hole. Question is, can I actually get things to peg in? Now that's pegging in just like before. Uh, 
Oh, I missed a bunch of steps, apparently. Okay, we gotta get the legs back into robot mode effectively. Then we are tilting this up, putting these down like this. <clears throat> Rotate the legs so they're facing like this. Actually, do I have any of this done right? <laughs> Again, the instructions on these things have been kind of awful. Okay, now we're getting to somewhere. You know what, we're just gonna put them like this. How's that for a gear walk mode? <laughs> so we're gonna reconnect things over here. I believe we're, you know, we're leaving that open. Okay. Trying to figure out where it wants me to peg these legs in. Okay. So it looks like it wants me to do that, maybe? Guess we'll find out how well this did once we go to actually combine this guy. And then this part, where does it show it connecting? shows these tabs going over here. Got one, we got two. <clears throat> and there we go, okay. You know what, I think this might be pretty close. Oh. <laughs> Pretty monstrous, right? Okay. We'll get this guy back into robot mode and we'll come back for my final thoughts. So I think the most frustrating thing about this guy is mainly just that the transformation instructions aren't that great. When I transformed this guy back into robot mode, I realized that he was only like a few steps really away from getting back to here. So now that I know how it works, transformation is probably going to be a whole lot easier. 
Um, he's also a little on the short side in robot mode. And that bugs me a little bit because I feel like maybe he should be bigger. But then again, Studio Series tries really hard to get everybody to scale correctly uh, to one another in robot mode. So I would find it hard to believe that they would make this guy that drastically shorter unless that's really how he was in the movie. But yeah, I think I could give this guy a recommendation on just him alone. So, yeah, that's been a review. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. Check the description below for links to my storefront where you can get official shelf space t-shirts and more. And, yeah, thank you again, and I'll see you the next time you step on this road to devastation.